All right, everybody. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, get right into modeling the pawn. So <clears throat> the pawn, I'm gonna go to the front view. In the front view, you know, general shape of this uh, pawn is a sphere at the top and a cylinder with, you know, nice little curves and stuff to it. So there's a couple of ways we can start this. I'm gonna start off with this cylinder uh, or this piece at the bottom here. So you can go to the mod poly modeling tab. You can click on, on the cylinder shape. And it's gonna create the cylinder shape, put it right into the zero to zero. I'm gonna go to W for the move tool. We're gonna to move this over to the pawn. Put it into place roughly, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to align everything on the left side. All right, so we're gonna move this over. That's probably close to the middle there. I'm gonna to go to vertice mode by right clicking. Go to vertice mode, or you can go to this tab over here. You can go to modeling toolkit and you can go to vertice there. Select the vertices, bring it right up to the top. I'm gonna to say that this is pretty much the bottom there. And then we're gonna start adding in some loops. So we're gonna to to multi cut uh, tool here. We're going to hold control and just click. When you do that, it'll add loops go across the whole cylinder we're gonna do that a few times get the general shape then I'm gonna go back to vertice mode we'll go back to the move move tool or uh, here and I'll start selecting the vertices I went into x-ray mode as well which is right here I'm just gonna scale this down uh, to move these vertices up here and then we're going to Vertices here again. We're gonna try and align this. We're gonna go multi cut tool again. Put that around there. And we're actually gonna go multi cut tool one more time. Right here. We're gonna go back to edges. We're gonna go back to the move tool. Uh, go back to edges. We're gonna select uh, one of the edges. We're gonna double click or hold shift to multi select double click to select the whole edge and then we're going to scale this in and again this is because of perspective and typically they're there uh, and we're going to add some more multi or some more edges but there's another way to do this as well so i'm going to align this a little bit better go to scale scale this in uh, we're going to go left click or hold left Shift, right click, I'm gonna insert edge tool. I'm gonna to hold shift, and that typically tries and smoothen things out a little bit better. That didn't do the greatest job, but it did some of it, and I'm gonna scale it back in again. Uh, multi cut tool again, I'm gonna move up there. Go back to the move tool, double click on the edge to fully select it. Back in, multi cut tool one more time. Again, there's so many different ways that you can do certain things, right? I can use multi-cut tool here, hold, hold control, click. And we kind of get that general shape, right? Uh, go multi-cut tool one more time. Again, you're gonna notice that I like, I love using hotkeys and hot menus. So, that multi -cut tool. Looks like there's a little bit Edge. I'm gonna go select these edges here. We're gonna scale these up. General thing here. Move this add bit. Other loop here. Edges. Going. So, just gonna rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until we get kind of the general shape. Shift, right click, get multi cut tool control, to get the whole loop, go to edges. All right, multi cut tool. I'm gonna try and do this all the different ways possible. Go to edges, go to select tool or move tool, go to edges, select, scale. Because I'm using hotkeys R, the hockey for scaling. Multi cut, control, hold control, click, go back to move, select it, go back to scale. 
Oh, so now if I go out of x-ray mode, you're going to see the kind of have the general shape there, right? If you're, you're doing something called subdivisions, if you press on the 3 key, you're going to see how it's all made. smooth. It's going to be really nice auto, right? Go back to 1 for a regular mode. No subdivisions, okay? So there we go. So we have the pawn. It has a, its body. Now we're going to go back to the front view. So space bar to kind of is the hotkey to kind of zoom back out. <clears throat> if you put your cursor onto any of the front sides, tops, or perspective, it's going to zoom back into that, um, that camera. I'm going to turn off this outliner to give me a little bit more space. I'm going to press space bar again to zoom right back in. And then I'm going to create another sphere. Uh, I like to use the hot menu or the, uh, the pie menu. So I'm going to hold shift, right click, go to the sphere. And what's going to happen here is you're going to have this poly or this sorry this sphere it's already 760 triangles okay for this one uh for the pawn's body we have so far it's already 720 right for something that's even smaller than the body it has more triangles so we don't need it to be that um that high poly we're just gonna go to the attributes editor go to channel box layer editor go to inputs here poly sphere I'm going to change this down to 12 on both, right? And you're going to notice that this looks really, I'm going to go to perspective mode here. You're going to notice that this looks really like an isolation mode as well, or control one is the hockey. Um, there's a lot of hard edges, right? So it doesn't look very nice. What we can do, I'm going to select all the edges. We're going to go to mesh display. We're going to go to soften edges. For me, uh, hotkey is hold shift or select all hold shift right click soften soften edge that's the that's the pie menu hotkeys for it um, i'm going to delete history uh go to edit mode delete by so it's deleting the history essentially deleting like the cache hearing it uh, making it a lot easier for maya to kind of do a lot of modifications to it without it causing errors get i'm going to get out of isolation mode here like that and what i'm going to do also is i'm going to move the pivot point of this uh, sphere to this very bottom vertice so i'm going to hold d for delta i'm going to hold i'm going to hold v for verge or van All right so now there we go and then we're going to try and snap so i'm going to actually hide the image plane so i'm going to hide it with this v here click it Goes right off. I'm actually going to turn on wireframe mode, which is right over here. Wireframe is shaded, sorry. And I'm going to try and snap that bottom of this vertice of the sphere onto the top of this, the body of the rook, or sorry, the pawn. So I'm going to hold V to enable snapping vertices. Hold on. Here. Hold V, snap it right there. Go. Okay. And then what, you're, what we're going to notice also is when I go back to the front view, turn back the image plane on, go back to x-ray mode over here, is that like this isn't the right shape. And not only that, like not the tip isn't at the very top. So it's more like something like that. I'm just going to scale this in. Fit that shape. Right? Turn off x-ray mode. Notice that that's what have, right? Go back to perspective view. Back to object mode, which is F8 is the hockey for object view. And then there you have it. You have this pawn now. It looks like that. Uh, what you're going to notice if you go to outliner, you have two different objects. What we want to do is we want to combine them. So we're going to go to mesh, combine. And now you can see it has all this history on it, right? We want to clean that up. So we're going to go to edit again, delete by type. We're going to delete history again. For the first few videos, I will be going through the menus. Eventually, I'm just going to be saying what I'm doing, and I'm just going to be using my hockey. Okay. Um, turning off the wireframe mode here, and there you have it. Right. And we have a clean history. Freeze transformations. You'll also notice that it cleaned up a lot of the the, the quote unquote garbage in your scene. And now I'm just going to rename this to Pond Zero One. Right, so there you go. So now we have a nice little pawn here. It's going for about 984 triangles, which isn't too bad. 
And again, if you wanted to kind of look at this at a nice smoother, higher poly, press the three button, really smooth. But we're not going to be doing that. Just go back to one. Get everything back to normal. There we go. We have the pawn ready to go. And uh, next video, we'll move on to uh, the rook.